Welcome back to Tom's Garage again. Good morning, everybody. Boy, it is a beautiful Friday. Beautiful Friday. But today, 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 Papal 21 inch yard machines with a Bridge and Stratton 550EX. It is. He brought it to me and said, man, I can't pull my cord. And he wouldn't line. I even turned it over and grabbed the blade and it locked up. Tell you what it did. He had this aftermarket blade on there and you can see it bent. Bent it right there. He had it on upside down. Evidently he hit the ground or something with it. It bent the blade, sheared the blade adapter, sheared that, and you can see how oily it is. I'll show you. I'll show you. Well, I already had the cover taken off. I just stuck it back on there for illustrative purposes. And I've already robbed the coil and I've already robbed the air filter cover. <laughs> I tell you, stuff don't sit around here very long. Uh-oh. Money. Okay. I got the bail handle pulled back. And this thing is locked up. And I've already pulled the, I've already pulled the blade off the top of it. But if you would look. Well, I've got this fishnet stuff on there. It is so oily because this shaft is bent. Don't know how well you can see that. It's bent that way. It's bent so bad it's got the oil seal pulled out of the way. Huh. Yeah. Not good. I wanna I'm gonna pull this engine off. We're gonna do an autopsy. We're gonna do an autopsy on this one. We are. And we're going to do it right now. Because I'm curious to see what kind of internal damage is caused. It may just be tight because of this, this so bent right there. Rubbing the, rubbing the case. Let me get that bail cable off of there. I get to use Brandon's tool pal. <whistles> yeah, I've got a bunch of good parts on here we can use. A bunch of good parts. Carburetor, pull starter, air filter cover, coil, muffler, gas cap, fuel tank, all kinds of good stuff. All right. Now let's do a let's do an autopsy. this frame out of here. Slide that out of the way. Here, let's go over to the workbench. Well, y'all, workbench is cluttered. I can't get to it. Let me shift some of this stuff over here. Pause. I'm going to move this camera. We're going to do this cooking show style. All right. Get the camera set up. Shed a little light. Turn the light on. Now let's get this thing taken apart. Take it apart, boys. 
But I am curious. Let's see, is that all of them? Honestly, I believe that's all of them. Oh good. Take a rubber mallet. I thought we're gonna have trouble because of this shaft is bent. Try not to hit myself in the face with this thing. <laughs> this is my little pry bar. I think should have popped out a little easier than that. A little easier than that. Yep. Let me hit pause real quick. Got somebody pulling in. All right. Let's get this thing apart. Yeah, this shaft is so bent that can you get a better view of it? Yep, yep, yep. Crooked. And we gotta get it past that. Wow. If I was trying to rebuild this or something that place that crankshaft I wouldn't be prying on it like this because you can mess up this mating surface. Try to take it apart intact. Accomplishing is making a big old mess. Hmm. It is not wanting to give it up. But I believe that's why it was so tight because of that. I was wanting to see if the connecting rod or something was damaged. Hmm. Hmm. We get it off. It is that bad. I know what we need. More persuasion. Wow. Hmm. 
sit on that block of wood out there. I'm damaging my table. Well, the camshaft and governor and everything's falling out. I don't believe we're going to be able to get it off. I don't believe we are. It's just too bent. We're not going to be able to get it off. There goes the cam, there goes the governor, there goes the lifters. We can almost get it, almost get it. Almost got it. Almost got it. Now I've got to get it past that boogered spot where I hit it with a hammer on the shaft. Got to how bent that thing is. Whew. Yeah, I believe that's about as far as we're going to try to get it. Hmm. I can hold the shaft and just twist on it. Get my channel lockers. Oh, oh yeah, that thing's stuck to that shaft. Ooh. Oh, pretty good. Be careful not to cut myself here. <clears throat> nope, we're not going to get that off because I got it too boogered. Hmm. Now I'm determined. No, I'm determined to get it off. Let me find something here and I'll. That's all right, we don't have to get it off. We can see in there good enough. I just wanted to see the connecting rod and see if it was hurt. Yeah, the connecting rod and everything is still intact. That's why it was just, that's why the engine was so tough to turn and pull, because this was bent up against the oil sump. And that's what it is. You can see how bad it was bent. Blade hitting the ground. Blade hitting the ground, bent the shaft. I was hoping it was going to be another broken flywheel, but... Oh, let me hit pause. Alrighty. Well, that's what's left of it. Everything looked to be intact. Whew, that thing about let it whoop me, didn't I? I gotta get these fans back on in here now. Well, boys and girls, thanks for watching another Tom Doby video. Little autopsy. I didn't realize that shaft was bent that bad, but it was. It was, it was. It don't take much. Hey, y'all check out DLT Lawn Care's channel tonight, man. Me and him's gonna do a live stream probably around 7 o'clock. Act goofy, have a little bit of fun. For about an hour. Yep. Y'all be good. Love each other. Tell somebody I love them. 
And we will catch y'all on the next one, boys and girls. Love y'all.